Runners face in die stat here with Addie Ritzenhine, winner of the 5A Colorado State Championships. Addie, you broke the course record today, who was previously previously set by Brooke Wilson. That's a big name. How much did you have that record in the back of your mind coming into the race? Yeah, honestly, um, for me, it was kind of just like a, a bonus. Um, I was kind of going out there, um, you know, getting to race in a different region too, so re racing 5A. I just kind of wanted to go out there, get some good experience and compete just with these such strong and uh, competitive girls. So, I mean, obviously I, I'm very excited that I got the course record, but that was kind of like a little bonus for me. Um, it was just super exciting to be out there with such strong, amazing runners and the spectators were great as well. Um, overall, it was just, it was very exciting, very fun. Yeah, I don't know if you know this, but 10 of the girls in this race broke 18. Oh my God. <laughs> That's, That's crazy. a lot. That's a great year for Colorado. <laughs> what does that just show you about the talent, not only in 5A, but also just in this state in general? Yeah, this state has so much talent. Like, it's unmatched, I think, to any other state, honestly. Um, we, we have such a strong um, group of girls um, who are just racing out here today. Like, it just shows how strong Colorado runners are in general, especially um, the, the girls in the sport as well. So, you know, um, it's just so exciting to see these girls compete like this. Um, I think it's just a, such a special community. We all want what's best for each other. We're all so supportive of each other. Mm -hmm. So it's just, it's a really good community, yeah. Yeah. So coming into today, you're the NXN champion. So you have a lot of pressure on you. What's it like dealing with that pressure? Um, yeah, honestly, it can get hard at times. Um, there's, it's a lot of weight on your shoulders. It's a lot of expectations. But for me, something that I found was just easiest is just to like, you know, at the end of the day, it's, it's not that deep. It's just running, so. I kind of just tell myself that and um, I, you know, honestly, pressure is a, a blessing. It's a, it's, it's deserved, I believe. So I think it just, it shows um, how special it can be. But um, ultimately going into NXN and NXR, I'm not going to let that get the best of me. I'm just going to go out there, compete and be just yeah, ha happy. Yeah, just have fun with the sport. Yeah. Now for that first mile today, you had some girls still around you. Was yeah. that different for you or were you yeah, prepared for that? Yeah, that's usually a lot different. Like. In 4A, it's usually me, Ella Hagen, Peyton Meineke, um, one or two other girls maybe going into like 800. So it's, it's very different. It was very exciting and I think it's gonna be good preparation for NXR and NXN. And I think it just shows how strong, you know, uh, we are this year as a whole entire state. So it's, it's amazing to see how many girls are out there and giving it their all and, you know, pushing how talented everyone in this field is. Mm -hmm. Certainly very exciting and another exciting thing you have a college decision coming up. Mm -hmm. Have you made any decisions yet? Um, I haven't made any decisions yet. I've narrowed down my options to two um, very good options right now, but at the moment, that's all. I'm not gonna probably make a decision until after NXN. I just wanna focus on this postseason right now, but yeah. Can you share what those two options are? Are they Yeah, um, it's NAU and NC State. Oh, that's so exciting. Yeah. Well, either way, whichever school you choose, mm -hmm. you're going to do amazing, and they're oh. getting a good one. So. Oh, thank you so much. Congrats, thank and you. best of luck in the postseason. We can't thank wait to see so what you much. do. Thank you. Thank you.